Today, we're taking a look at the Swice Slice Pro. What's up guys? On my channel, I like to feature products that offer something unique or a good value. And the Slice Pro from Swice has both. It is a unique hybrid shape paddle that is very close to a standard shape. It is just slightly longer and narrower than a standard shape paddle while featuring the throat taper and arrow curve that you find on a lot of hybrid paddles. It's got a 5.3 inch handle with my overgrip wrapped up to about five and a half inches. It is thermoformed with edge foam and it features a 100% DuPont Kevlar face. And this particular Kevlar weave is a tighter Kevlar weave. And as far as I can tell, it's the same Kevlar weave found on the Honolulu Pickleball Company J2K Pro and J3K Pro. Swice also offers a lifetime warranty on this paddle as well as a 30 day love it or return it policy. And the best part of all, is the price. At $130 or $117 after discount code SCOOTER, this paddle is an insane value. And as always, before we get into how the paddle plays, I wanna give a quick shout out to Looky Overgrips and Pickleball Effect Tungsten Tape. I use them on every review and can't recommend them enough. You can also use discount code SCOOTER on their websites to save a little bit of money. Also, if you guys wouldn't mind liking the video and subscribing to the channel, it really does help small channels like mine a ton. All right, so how does it play? Well, no surprise, it's really good. I see people online talk a lot about why paddle reviewers don't give bad reviews. And truthfully, it's because there's not very many bad paddles released anymore. Brands almost have to go out of their way to make a bad paddle these days. So with so many good paddles on the market, my goal is to just explain the differences and explain who might benefit from certain features of each paddle. So with that in mind, We'll talk about how this paddle plays. So going into this review, I really didn't know what to expect from this paddle. Being an almost standard shape hybrid paddle featuring a Kevlar face, I didn't know to expect this paddle to be a soft control oriented paddle or a more power oriented paddle. And while a lot of Kevlar paddles feel soft, this is not one of them. Since this paddle features the tighter Kevlar weave, it has a very stiff and responsive feel to it. And that stiff feel means very little dwell time, which makes this paddle very predictable to play with. A downside to that is it doesn't allow you to shape the ball quite as much, but since this paddle generates so much spin, you're still able to put a good amount of shape on the ball, which makes up for that lack of dwell time. And I know a lot of players who personally prefer the stiffer, more predictable feeling paddles, but that does come with a mild trade-off. That stiff feel makes off-center shots feel a bit harsh. Now that's not to say that this paddle doesn't still have a good sweet spot, because it does. It just has a bit of an unforgiving feeling on those off-center shots. Thankfully, this wider hybrid shape helps minimize that. Now, my only other con is the handle length. For a lot of people, this will be perfectly fine, and I can still get two hands on it if I need to, but it is not the most two-hand shot friendly. So might not be the best choice if you use a two-handed backhand a lot. Other than that, I really have no complaints about this paddle. This is a great all-court paddle, leaning heavy into its power and pop, generates a ton of spin, and has good enough control once you get used to it. And of course, the best part, it's unbeatable price, paired with a lifetime warranty and 30-day risk-free trial. It really makes this paddle a great and competitive offering in a crowded market. Plus, the purple looks pretty nice. All right, guys, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I have a lot of exciting stuff coming up in the future, so stay tuned. I have more reviews coming soon.